If you want the best experience while you're gaming, or even say for instance you are video editing, and you just want a real fast responsive experience, and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then today's video might be for you, where what we're gonna be doing is really slimming down and installing only the core of the NVIDIA driver itself, meaning that we're not going to get any telemetry, we're not gonna be using the NVIDIA app, and also if you're on an RTX 5000 series card, I'm gonna show you some alternatives at the end of the video on how you can get around things by say for instance, you like using shadow play like I used to like using, but also on the same token, you don't wanna be using the NVIDIA app. Now with the RTX 5000 series in particular, NVIDIA has forced users to install only the NVIDIA app and you can no longer use their previous software package, the GeForce experience. Now my personal problem with the NVIDIA app is that it's actually got a lot of invasive telemetry built into it. And you can even see this in the NVIDIA app menu where it has this checkbox that's permanently ticked. You cannot uncheck it and it forces you to send NVIDIA data to servers whether you like it or not. Now, the sad thing about this is if you're in a clutch play and for instance, I like to play a bit of Fortnite with my son and if I'm in the middle of a battle and this telemetry decides to kick in, it can be to the point where I'm getting some really bad stuttering that could cause me to lose a battle that I otherwise might have not lost. Now, how I got around this was I actually changed the main GPU in my system to an AMD graphics card. But for instance, if you've got an NVIDIA G-Sync monitor or perhaps you really like DLSS or for instance, you are video editing, where NVIDIA do hold a clear advantage over AMD, perhaps you wanna get the most out of your graphics card, but you want to do it without these invasive features. So let's go into a program called NV Slimmer, and this is gonna fix a lot of problems. Now, what we're gonna be showing in this first part here is just a clean install. That means you haven't installed anything else, you haven't installed previous drivers, you've just got a fresh install of Windows and you're starting from the get-go, or later on the video, we'll show you how to use DDU, that's Display Driver Uninstaller, how you can completely uninstall your NVIDIA graphics drivers and start afresh. But once we're at this fresh state, what we wanna do is download the program called NV Slimmer. And I'll put the links in the description below for this. It's basically actually a few years old now, but it still has incredible functionality for removing all the bloat out of an NVIDIA graphics card driver install. And what we've got here for the graphics card driver, we get this directly from NVIDIA's website. And I like to get the NV Slimmer, unzip that to a new folder and then also put the graphics card drive that we downloaded on the desktop and then open up NV Slimmer and then load this graphics card driver into the program itself. And what we'll see here is when we start doing this, it gives us all the options. Even though it doesn't recognize the NVIDIA app, it still identifies it and excludes it from a base install. And so if you guys want just a incredibly clean install, just install the two required options. But if you're like me and say for instance, on this particular rig, that I'm doing all this uh, testing on here today, if you're using it in conjunction with an NVIDIA G-Sync monitor, you may definitely want to install the NVIDIA control panel as well. And that also carries uh, one service attached to it that you'll have to have running. Now, if you don't install the NVIDIA control panel, you can always come back to the NV Slimmer application later on and just directly install the NVIDIA control panel. So it's not a biggie if you want to install this or not, but I do recommend having the NVIDIA control panel installed, especially if you have a G-Sync monitor. And unfortunately with the Alienware monitor that we're using in conjunction with this rig, it's actually got no option in the monitor's OSD itself to manually disable uh, G-Sync. So basically with this Alienware monitor we've got right here, we'll definitely want to install the NVIDIA control panel with it. Then once we've selected our options, we go to apply and then we go to install. Now, once you've completed this, you should be able to have an extremely clean install with your NVIDIA graphics card. And also, if you've decided to not go with the NVIDIA control panel, you'll just have no NVIDIA services running. Now, also, if you've got the NVIDIA control panel installed, one thing you can do is also disable the NVIDIA control panel service too. It's something that I do personally. I found it hasn't been really doing much outside of the fact that we're not using any NVIDIA services. So now we've finished that off, we'll get on to some other things here. And the first thing is the performance. What I've noticed here is that I do get better 0.1% lows consistently. Now, the games that I test in are Fortnite as well as Warcraft 3, and I play these online. And so the matches can drag out sometimes for 20 minutes and longer. I've found in particular instances, I can get some really big stuttering 
if the games are longer than an hour. For some reason, it's like about once every hour. If you've got the regular NVIDIA install, you just get these massive stutterings. And I'm guessing that's due to the telemetry because it doesn't happen when I have this MV Slimmer install of our drivers done. Anyhow, with Warcraft 3, we noticed a little bit of an uplift here in our 0.1% lows. And keep in mind, there is some variance here with these multiplayer benchmarks, but overall the uh, results were consistently better with our NV Slim install. So what about if you're used to using Shadow Play and you wanna have desktop recording footage, especially with a quick hotkey? Here's where we can finally do this with OBS. In the past, at least like a good few years ago, I'd have OBS on my taskbar and it was very annoying. But here we in the options, we can now install OBS and I'll put the download link for this in the description below too. We can install OBS and then we can also set it up for our video output. I like to focus on recording because I do a lot more recording for Tech Air City than I do streaming. But here's where we can set up our hotkeys. We can also set out our uh, NVIDIA encoder to record our footage, but then also we can set up the ability to minimize this to the icons in the bottom right hand corner as well as set up the icons by going into the taskbar services and then making sure it's always on. And also outside of that, you can also type in the search bar run and then after that shell column startup, and then you can drop the OBS uh, shortcut into this folder and OBS will then start up when you start up window. So you've essentially always got your desktop recording software ready, and then you can manually set it up to record. In this case, I use control F8. And once I hit that, I'm recording my desktop footage or gameplay footage. And then when I hit it again, it stops recording. And the best thing is I've also got an indicator to know when I'm recording in the bottom right hand corner with the always on icon because OBS will display this little red dot when it's recording. And even then it's got some other powerful features like pausing a recording, which will have a different icon and I've got a different hotkey for that too. So really powerful software and it's finally at the stage where I don't need to have the NVIDIA app installed. Now keep in mind with the NVIDIA app, if you've got that installed, you do get extra features like DLSS override, which is unique to the NVIDIA app as well as game optimization. But being into only a few select games in my spare time, I know how to optimize those games outside of the NVIDIA app. So that is something you will lose by doing this. But I find my system in general is just much more responsive when I'm doing this as opposed to having a regular default NVIDIA install. Anyhow, guys, with that aside, it's time for the last part of the video. And that is if you've already got an NVIDIA driver install on your computer, what can you do to completely get around installing, like say for instance, emulating a fresh install. And here's where you can download a program called DDU and it's display driver on installer. And what we wanna do here is what I firstly do is I just regularly do the add remove programs, uninstall all the Nvidia stuff, and then get my desktop ready by restarting the computer a few times. And then the final step is to apply the display driver on installer. Essentially what this will do is go pretty deep and it'll just uninstall anything related to an Nvidia graphics install. And so after you've done this, you can then go back to your desktop with nothing installed. Again, you might have to restart your computer a few times, but then you're ready to do the first method earlier in the video. And that's our NV Slimmer install. Anyhow guys, with all that aside, hope you enjoyed today's video. This is one of those things that I do to my personal system if I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any input or things that you want to ask questions about, be sure to drop a comment down below. And with that aside, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.